I had a rather interesting harmonica come in this week um, for refurbishment and um, the customer said that um, she's not sure whether it can be repaired or not. It had quite a lot of damage to it. Um, it's a very old um, golden melody. It's the one with the nails in um, instead of screws. Not sure how old it is. Um, but this is how I, how I fixed it. As you can see here, the, um, the cover plate looks like it's been bitten. Um, it's uh, the same damages on both faces and it's crushed the cover plates so I'm assuming that this has really been bitten um, the nail has cracked out of the comb um, so the comb's damaged also um, the main thing really is the cover plates look at them they're really bitten up so the first thing we're going to do is to um, uh, get the major dents out what I use here is two I use a hide mallet um, and a shaping, a shaping um, hammer um, and uh, the hammer's got the different faces, different domes on it and um, I can hammer that against the cover plate and underneath the cover plate is a rubber mat um, so that takes out some of the, um, some of the impact um, it's not too difficult to get the major dents out the next tool that I use I made myself this is a ball bearing that Silver soldered onto a rod um, and this uh, gets the, uh, the bite marks out, the very small dings very difficult to roll them out um, with a big tool so um, I use a very small little um, a small little ball bearing there just into the uh, into the, um, the specific dents and I can also rub that along the length of the cover plate uh, to smooth those dents out the next tool that I use is another burnishing tool this is a flat burnishing tool um, again just get some of the uh, the undulations of the um, of the dents out. Um, I use on underneath the comb as well some Vaseline just to stop it scratching and catching. Um, another tool that I use um, is a curved burnishing tool. Uh, this puts um, the 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 curvature on the um, face of the the cover plate so that the cover plate matches the groove in the reed plate. This is very important. A lot of people don't spend much time on this but that, um, that groove in the reed plate um, has to accept the cover plate to make sure that there's a good seal between the cover plate and the reed plate. Um, again I use a rubber mat here to get the shape of it and then finally I use a rolling burnishing tool. Look at all these burnishing tools I've got. But this is a rollishing burning tool, roller burnishing tool and I use this over a round mandrel um, just to get uh, the, the exact shape, the exact curvature um, and flatness of the of the cover plates onto the reed plate, and there you have it. That's um, the uh, the finished article. Um, it came out really really good. Um, took a lot of time, um, but all the bite marks are out. So um, I'm very very pleased with that. And that's how you get dents out of cover plates. Thanks for watching, John Cook Harmonicas.